I'm so sick of this Neil Bridges guy. All this Bridges got swag and blah, blah, blah. I'm sick of it. Look at me going to the paint. Blah, blah, blah. Bridges got swag. I don't ever want to see this guy at the blacktop again. If he shows up, take him out. What's going on, Full House? It's K Spade, the prospect, the big blue Chevy driver. And folks, I'm back today with another NBA 2K14 gameplay. This time we out on the rooftop, so you know it's a cruise gameplay. And as you saw in the intro, my little bro QJB has been banned from the blacktop, from the cruise, from the rooftop, from the rucker. Too much bridges got swag, too much blah, <laughs> too much of all of that, yo. So I'm trying to put a sarcastic spin on it, but in all seriousness, it's really ridiculous the issues that he's been going through with NBA 2K, current gen at least. Um, we've already had to restart our crew once, and I don't mean at the beginning, I mean maybe 50 games in, all of a sudden, everybody in the crew can get in the locker room but QJB. He goes to the crews, it takes him to the page where he's creating a crew. And we went to Twitter with it, we tried everything that people recommended us try. We dashboarded, we cut the game off, tried again. We reset routers, we up, up, down, down. We, we tried everything, nothing would work. So we deleted the crew, we made a new crew and that worked for a while and then he just experienced more problems where every time he would go online, his Xbox would freeze. So, you know, when Deion Sanders decided it was over for him, all of a sudden we got Leon Sandcastle. So, you see we got Bill out here. I ain't even gonna try to roll the last name off. But unlike my typical crew videos, I'm not gonna really do play by play. I'ma just talk about the new look made men as you see right here. Yo, TMM, first of all, shout out to everybody who rocked with us, whether it be this game or all the way back in NBA 2K11. Um, through just a, a strong bond, we, we really built a name for ourselves. And, and we was a crew that a lot of people like to watch play like to identify with not because we never lost games because we did lose but we just played straight up and, and we built a reputation off playing straight up we was that team that if we beat you you couldn't say at the end oh they cheesed or they did this or they did that or they had tall players or they cheated. that it wasn't so anytime we got a win it was nothing you could say but you just lost and that was our goal so man it's a new game and we came out here and the transition was rough. We was taking our lumps. We was catching the fade, as LaParis would say. And then it, the light bulb came on. I was like, yo, guys, we're losing for two reasons. For one, we didn't come out here and buy my players up like a lot of people did. And we came out and we slow grind, got our players up. That was one thing that was holding us back because the game doesn't have any system to match you against a crew that's like rating. It, it, it's, you know, it's no rhyme or reason you just play whoever it gave you that was one thing that held us back but the second thing that held us back was our own mentality because we was approaching this mode like it was crew mode and it's not i mean it's nowhere it's not crew this is blacktop so once i was like yo guys you know i know we got our code of conduct i know we got certain things we don't want to do i know we work hard to play sim or whatnot but we're gonna catch the fade out here with that we gotta conform we gotta adapt we gotta we we gotta we gotta move forward, and we did, and we're getting there. I I want to say we're on the cusp. Look at this shot right here, yo. That's frustrating for a shooter, man. It just uh, don't even get me there. So I want to speak briefly about the new look made, man. These guys you see in this video right here is pretty much the core squad. So I mean, you see the beast out here. He's the same guy from Crew Mode. Of course, his post game is not as potent because of all of the X spamming. It's tough to pull the post out, but he will pull it out, and he's that same guy. I mean, he's so versatile in what he can do. Look at this. I mean, that was like a, a moving lateral fadeaway pull-up from a big man, you know? So, the new additions to the team, I don't even have to talk about Q. You guys see the video. Mr. Quad Dub, the beast from the East. Y'all already know what he bring to the table. And then you sprinkle in some Air Jones. This guy, his player's athletic, but... Just his knowledge of this game, because he plays my team, he plays my career, he plays so many modes, his knowledge of the game just makes him such a big piece to the team. But the surprise 
to me, goes to LaParis. Uh, LaParis has adapted to this mode. I, I can't even explain to y'all. This guy, when we play, whether he have a good game or a bad game, I finish the game being most impressed with him. Um, he takes cr the criticism constructively. He never gets upset. And, and his his aim every game is to win, regardless of his own personal stats. And people like that is so rare. So I want to thank those guys for rocking with me. You see us pulling out a tough win right here. And yo, next gen, when the parks roll around, be looking for TMM, man. We're going to be out there putting in that work. All right, y'all. Hope you enjoyed the video. That's all I got for this one. I'm out the next time, y'all. Peace. Alright, Spade, if we're losing, we know why. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alright, hold, hold on, Mike.